Uh, what's up, Big? I hope you had a good day. I had a great day. Well, actually, okay. Hmm, I'll tell you about my day. I am watching a dog that's not Maya. I got two dogs in the house right now. And this other dog slept on my leg. And then I woke up and there was bug bites all over my leg. So I think that dog has fleas. <laughs> I don't know how to break this. I'm pretty sure that dog's got fleas. I got fucking bug bites all, my leg is itchy, bro, it sucks. Then, so you know how my chair's all loud and shit? Like you can just hear this fucking chair squeaking like it's fucking an old, dying, decrepit corpse. I finally had enough, so I wanted to get a new chair. But I was like, fucking today, I'm getting a new chair. So, obviously, balling out of control, Let's go, let's, what's the, I Google, what's the best chair? What is the all time greatest chair? And I wanted to get a, a you know, one of the Herman Miller fucking embodies, all right? I've decided, fuck, I, I, cause you know what? This chair and this chair I bought for cheap and built myself. And you can tell from the squeakiness that I built it myself. It just, also, I don't know if you can't even see this really, look. This, this is the fucking, I, I didn't put it together well. <laughs> The whole thing's broke. It's bad. I didn't, I didn't build it well. So I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna get I'm a ball out of control. I'm gonna get a new one. So I walk in, you know, it's this nice Herman Miller actual showcase store or whatever. And the lady there's like showing me the chairs, and she like immediately guesses for some reason that I'm a gamer. <laughs> Which I found to be weird because I thought I was presenting myself as like a businessman type and she's like, you know We have actually the embody gamer version. We have like a partnership with Logitech and I'm like, why would you be showing them? Like, <laughs> why would I care? I don't give off that vibe. Anyway, she clocked me pretty well. I look at it. I don't want it I don't want a gamer chair, bro. Fuck that. I want like a, I want like a fucking Executive chair. I want a nice chair. So find the right thing. I total it all up and she's showing me how it works. So she's like, yeah, there's this little thing on the side that you can flick to make the, give it more back stability or whatever, all this stuff. And I'm like, cool, this is great. And then I, I get it all set up in the right way. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, this feels good. Like this feels so much better. Like there's like, it's stable. And then I pay and it's fucking expensive. I'll be honest with you. It's the most expensive chair I've bought by a factor of 10. It's insane. The, the, the markup on those things has gotta be 90%. I mean, it's gotta be absurd, however they cost them. So uh, I spent a lot of fucking money on the chair. All right, thousands of dollars. No, less than $2,000, but like right there. And what's fucking worse is they're like, okay, it'll arrive in fucking four weeks. <laughs> I'm in the shop. This shop is like near my house. The, I can see the chair. I'm sitting in it. Let me, I want to go. I, want, I wanted to buy a chair today. And they're like, yeah, it'll be late October. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Eight fucking weeks. I'm spending thousands of dollars and you're not gonna give me a chair for eight weeks till fucking end of October. This is crazy, I'm in the store. I was really, I was very frustrated, but also like, I didn't have a lot of choice. <laughs> you know, it's funny is they go again. She's like, well, you know, we have one of the Logitech gamer chairs in the basement. <laughs> And I'm like, bitch, I'm not gonna go to the basement and get your basement gamer chair. Don't fucking profile me again. I didn't call her a bitch in the store, all right? It's for emphasis. <laughs> I didn't say, obviously I didn't scream bitch at a lady in the store. She was very nice, all right? Then I, I accept. Either way, she finessed me because I pay, I pay the money, swipe the card. Cha-ching. I walk out of the store. And again, one of the main reasons I buy is because over and over I'm like, bro, I just got no stability. Like the chair just sinks too much when I sit in it. Like I can't, I can never like just lean back in my chair. It's got no back support. I get home and I'm sitting in my shitty chair that I built and I'm just sitting here thinking like whatever. And I look down and I'm remembering what she told me about my chair, like the little settings and shit. So I'm like, I wonder if mine has any settings like that. So I start messing around with it and I click this one thing and then I lean back and it's perfectly stable. <laughs> I had just never clicked this fucking thing. The whole time it's been fucking sinking me way back in and now my back is fine right now. So I just spent like a fucking good chunk of change. It'll be a nicer chair, don't get me wrong. But it's not, the biggest problem I had was fixed instantly. So so today wasn't that great. If you want, if you want an honest answer, if you want me to be the honest Dave about it. And then also I'm too embarrassed by far to go back in there and try to get a refund. And also in eight weeks, it'll be a surprise to myself. So yeah, I basically paid this woman $1,800 for a chair tutorial. <laughs> I paid her to live demonstrate how chairs work, which is pretty great. So now I have two chairs. Also, I wanted to say, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I checked on my investment 
So I invested in Diamond Hands free money coin. I'm a bit of an investor. I'm what you might call like a crypto entrepreneur. And this guy in my chat posted that he created the Diamond Hands free money coin and that it was the first centralized crypto stored on a text file in his laptop dorm room. So I invested and I put in $5 and it was a market cap of like $8 yesterday and now it's gone up to 10. So the amount keeps rising. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we received an investor update today that says tragically PayPal has disabled my business account unfairly because there's no legal documentation for this business and we detected fraudulent activity. I think they were afraid of the competition. DHFM will sadly remain only halfway to the moon. Fuck! The PayPal cartel strikes again, dude. I don't know if Joe Biden was involved. I'm not gonna make that claim unfairly, but, <laughs> but I certainly can't know that he wasn't involved. You know what I'm saying? It's just interesting. You know that 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 Biden. Who's seen him since yesterday? What's he been doing? And DHFM just gets shut down like that? That would take a lot of power. I actually wanted to make a separate video about this. Do you guys know, you probably don't, huh? Because you're not all fucking addicts of fin twit. There's a guy, Chamath, I forget forget his last name. Whatever, he's a fucking venture capitalist. And he uh, had a bunch of like, basically scam companies in 2021 that he pumped and dumped is, you know, he's generally a fucking grifter and an asshole, but for a while he was doing really well. So he compared himself to Warren Buffett and he was like, yeah, I'm the better investor and whatever. You know, he, he's just a fucking, he's pompous, right? And all of his businesses are down 90, 95%. They were all pump and dumps. They called him out on it recently. <laughs> you know, somebody called him out on, on a podcast or whatever, and he got real defensive. And then he's like, I'm the man in the arena. You're just on the sidelines. Yeah, some things aren't gonna go my way. <laughs> you know, but it's like, dude, you made a bunch of money. Your investors made no, like every random person that believed in you lost money. You did fine. And like, I, I just thought it was, also you're not like in the arena. You're just fucking scamming people. <laughs> I found him to be extremely distasteful. So anyway, I'm the man in the arena. I'm the man really in the arena, the Fortnite arena. Hey, Big A, I'm a big fan. I'm a former Fortnite coach. <laughs> at the top of your resume. <laughs> and I'm interested in coaching you. Add me on Fortnite. The name's Booga. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I remember, oh, this is like such a vague memory, but well, two, two memories. We're getting close to one year out from NVIDIA. I know you guys think I'm tapped out of all my work stories, but really I'm tapped about my Twitch work stories. I actually have been keeping most of my NVIDIA work stories close to my chest because I feel like I shouldn't say them when it's too close to my employment. I actually have a lot of NVIDIA stories. One easy one that I think is totally fine to share is that I, get, I think I got a little lucky coming into NVIDIA at the time I did and with the experience that I had from Twitch and them not really knowing about so many like quote unquote new marketing things. Like they weren't doing much influencer promotion or social media or YouTube, like any of that stuff, whatever. It worked out well. And I remember I came in to NVIDIA before Fortnite took off, but PUBG was still big. And I was like, we need to do a PUBG promotion. And I was like, what if we just do an all in deal with this guy, Ninja? <laughs> His views on PUBG are pretty good. He's playing some of this new game Fortnite, but... <laughs> and so we got Ninja, I swear to God, for the cheapest fucking deal. And he, it lasted, I don't know, six, eight months into him becoming the biggest streamer in the world. Like that deal went through almost from nothing to where he was at Jimmy Fallon. And w every other brand he had was like paying him millions. And we had like the fucking, the 10K deal. <laughs> we had the fucking, we had the fucking great deal. And so the timing was, was excellent, which means again, that's pretty much luck. I'm not like a fucking Fortnite expert, but uh, I got a lot of props internally for like that amazing call <laughs> because you know, we were getting, we were just getting incredible return on ad spend for, for Ninja. So anyway, the second one though, is that Booga, after he won his thing, we were thinking of signing Booga. And I remember the, like the fucking cost was so absurd. And I'm so glad we didn't do that deal. <laughs> like the Booga cost, I'm, I'm so spitballing. I don't remember. Like I'm thinking like $2 million or something. <laughs> something stupid, like right after he won. And it was like his agency or whatever was asking for, you know, it's like, what are you talking about, bro? 
Booga, he, he won a Fortnite tournament. He won like the Fortnite World Championships back when they were really big. He won the first, it was the first World Championship and he won it and everyone was losing their mind. Anyway, I'm glad we didn't. Those, those are just two little mini work stories. Uh, imagine signing a $1 million deal with a 15 year old. Bro, what do you think happened with Justin Bieber? <laughs> I mean, you think it's never happened in history? Like they signed big deals.